When a hurricane's coming, we have lots of warning. We have radar, people on the Weather Channel telling us where it's going. We have enough time to prepare. When we're outside, we feel the strong winds that come with a hurricane. So Valerie, we are in Florida, we get a lot of hurricanes, we know how to protect ourselves. Fish aren't necessarily known to be the most intelligent species. What do they do to protect themselves when hurricanes come? Well, so fish that are in shallower areas, the best thing that they can do is just dive down deeper where it's so deep that they're almost completely unaffected by the storm. Do they know how to do that? So the way that they can indicate that a big storm, tropical storm, or hurricane is approaching is uh, through barometric pressure. Oh. So, so they have sensory capabilities where they can detect a drop in pressure and that would tell them, they try to equalize and maintain the same pressure, so they'll, go, they'll have to go deeper underwater to, to keep at the same pressure that they're used to. So that's pretty amazing. It's almost like it's not them deciding to go, it's, right. it's literally that they have to, to maintain equilibrium mm -hmm. with the pressure changes coming from the storm. Yeah, and then when the storm is over, they detect uh, the rise in pressure and they'll return back to their, their safe zone in an estuary. Let's do a demonstration to see how sharks are affected in deeper versus shallow water when a hurricane event comes by. We have a leaf blower with hurricane five winds coming out of it, our shark in the tank, Let's see what happens. Look how the shark is not affected at all in this deep water. Yes! Look at him! No movement! So we've taken out most of the water. Let's see what happens to the shark when we're in shallow water with hurricane force winds. You see how the shark's being affected, it's even shaking from the hurricane force winds in that shallow water. So here at Mount Marine, we are one of the top shark research institutes in the world. So as far as these fish or sharks moving when weather is coming, how do we know and what kind of research have we done on that? Okay, so obviously we can't be out collecting uh, information during a hurricane. So with tagging, we have many different types of tagging techniques. What kind of information do these tags give us about each shark? So we have a bunch of different types of tags that do record different types of information. And based on light, we're able to tell depth. Um, some of them do salinity, temperature. Um, there's, there's a ton of different variables that we're able to monitor. That's, that's pretty awesome. And then it all shows up on a map that we can see. Yep, boom, right, yeah. right on your computer screen. And we can detect trends based on all that data and actively be able to, I don't know, protect shark species better with laws that we can make and see what they're doing during hurricanes. Yeah. <laughs> now we know we don't have to worry about sharks when a hurricane is coming. They're sensing that pressure change before the storm comes and returning after. But for us, we have to prepare for hurricanes. But when you're preparing, make sure that you use the tap in your faucet before the hurricane gets there and use those containers to fill around your house. Don't go to the store and buy a bottle of water. Let's limit our single-use plastic. Remember guys, anyone can be a scientist or an engineer with some passion, hard work, and innate curiosity of how